again. Today I want to talk to you about teleconverters and extension tubes and the differences between the two of them. I know I went over this in my previous video, but I wanted to just kind of show you the differences um, and what it would look like if you just used your extension tubes. Now, I do not have a teleconverter for this camera. I'm using my Micro Four Thirds, and it's basically the same thing with a DSLR, whether you're going with a crop sensor or a full frame, extension tubes and teleconverters work the exact same way. There is no difference. So basically what they are is extension tubes are just a hollow tube that you connect between your camera and your lens and they extend your focal distance, meaning that they extend the distance that you can focus between the end of your lens and your subject. Now as you can see I have a little setup here in my living room and this is where I normally do my indoor macro because I have these beautiful windows behind me and the sunlight bounces off my neighbor's house which is like a driveway away and then comes right in here and I have beautiful light. I do have two lights hooked up um, that bounce off the ceiling if I decide to do this at night but they're basically these. <laughs> you can get these at a home improvement store and it's just this and a daylight bulb. Um, and it, they work out really, really well. I've never had an issue using these. I don't diffuse them unless I'm trying to really add some light or I maneuver them around my subject and then I put my diffuser in front, never against because it'll melt. But this is basically what it is. It's a macro table that my husband got for me many years ago that I just cover with black velvet piece. And I do my macro in my living room on rainy days, snowstorms, uh, whatever if I just decide I want to do macro. So that's part of the setup. So anyway, I wanted to show you by placing these on the lens and videotaping it through the camera what you're going to see when you place your extension tubes on your camera and how the distance that you can actually focus changes. Now with a teleconverter, a teleconverter actually has glass element inside of here. And what, it, what that does is it extends the focal length of your lens. So it will take your 100 millimeter macro and based on which extension tube you place on there, whether it's, there's three of them for digital SLRs, whether you put the 12, the 16, or the 36 millimeter on there, it will extend your focal length of your lens by that millimeter. So if you put the 36 millimeter on your camera, then that will take that 100 millimeter lens and effectively make it 136 millimeter with an extender. But there's a caveat to that. You lose between one and two stops of light when you do that because of the glass element inside. With extension tubes, you lose no light at all. There's nothing in here to block that light whatsoever. So if you're out in the field and there is a dragonfly or a grasshopper or an insect and it's a little distance in front of you but you want to get it but you don't want to scare it, that's where an extender can come in really, really well. and Or the teleconverter, I'm sorry. Because you can effectively take that focal length and you can add to it. Where with extension tubes, it just allows you to focus closer to your subject. So we're going to get into this and I'm going to switch over to my camera um, and talk to you via the uh, video in here so that way you can actually see what's going on and I can show you as we go. So I will see you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, this is my focus distance with this 60 millimeter um, Mzuko Pro 2.8 on my mirrorless. This is as close as I can get to the flower and the flower that I'm trying to get to is this one right here. So that's pretty close. I mean that's actually I would say four to five inches, maybe a little closer. So that's my focal distance right now. That is how close I can focus to that flower without any help whatsoever. So now I'm going to put on the other camera so I can show you how close that actually is with this. All right, I've switched over to the little camera only because when I go to do a video mode in the big one that you're currently looking at, it changes the zoom and I didn't like that. This is actually the lens focused on the flower. This is how close I'm allowed to get without any extension tubes or anything on the front of my 60 millimeter macro for my mirrorless. That's pretty freaking close and it's extremely detailed. 
So I'm going to pop on the um, 16 millimeter extension tube onto there and just see how close I can get from there and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I have the 16 millimeter extension tube placed onto the front of my lens. And as you can see, this little, oh, it did focus. Now, the see how much further that thing has popped compared to the last one? It has really zoomed my focal distance in. I've not changed the position of my camera. I've not changed the flowers. I've not changed anything. The only thing I changed was I added the 16 millimeter extension tubes to the front of my lens, and that's it. So it really does help you zoom in. Now, when I tried to focus on this previously before I started the video, it hunt and pecked, and it would not focus on that flower. That is inherent to extension tubes. Whenever you use an extension tube, you always want to pop your camera if it will not focus, um, autofocus, then you have to manually focus. That is normal for extension tubes. And for teleconverters, some lenses will not focus between about three or between about 200 and four. I'm um, sorry, I'm getting my extension tubes mixed around. Um, with a teleconverter, sometimes the closer you get to, like if you have a 70 to 300, um, it will not focus at 300. That is normal. You have to manually focus. So when you're looking at this, that is pretty daggone close. I mean, that is like pretty much the center of the flower. So I'm going to take this image and it's at 5.6. Or I'm sorry, I pumped this bad boy up to f11 at 10 seconds. So let's take this image and see what we get. This right here <clears throat> that you're seeing is noise reduction within the camera. That is completely normal. And there's the image. That looks pretty freaking good. I mean, let's pop that bad boy back up there. That looks very crisp, very sharp. There's a lot of detail in the center of that flower. That looks really, really good. So that is your extension tubes. Now, I didn't put both of them on there because, um, well, actually, you know what? Let's do that really quick. Let's pop both those bad boys on there and see if it'll even focus. Hold on. Be right back. All right, guys, here we are. We have both the 12 and the 16 on there. Look at the center of that flower. It has even more allowed me to focus even closer. Now, like I said, I've not moved my camera. I've not moved the tripod. I've not moved anything. I have simply just stacked the two um, extension tubes together and put them between my camera and my lens, and that even allowed me to focus in even closer. So let's bring this around. Oop, sorry about that. Now that's how close I am. It not only extended the distance between my lens and my camera, but it's extended the entire focal distance. So it basically is allowing me to get closer. And it has really worked in my favor because that is a rockin' picture right there. Now, like I said before, sometimes you will have to manually focus. It depends on your lens, depends on your subject, it depends on your light. There are so many variables that go into whether your camera will be able to focus or not. Now, you're looking at a, at a picture that is only window light. I do have one lamp to my right that's far away that's on. This is only window light coming in the door and the windows beside me on my subject. I have no other lights on whatsoever. The two lights, I, the one light I showed you is not on. So when you're looking at extension tubes, this is what it gives you. And it is amazing for macro. And actually, I'm wondering if I could get even closer to this little flower. I doubt it, but we're going to try. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I tried to get closer um, by moving my camera um, towards the flower. I tried remove, I'm moving the flowers. I put my camera back exactly as it was before. It would not let me focus. So this is actually the closest I can get. But I wanted to show you something. Whenever you actually take your photograph, most cameras now come with what they call noise reduction software. And the time, the shutter speed on this is eight seconds. So if I take this photograph at F11, or I'm sorry, I'm at F10 right now, <laughs> at um, 8 seconds, 
it will do eight seconds to take the photograph and then as soon as it's done the um, noise reduction software will pop up on the screen for eight seconds however long you take your photograph or your exposure is is how long your noise reduction software is going to take to reduce that noise I suggest for macro you leave this on and the reason being is it does not matter what ISO you set your camera at the closer to your subject you get the more noise you're going to gain and you have to be very careful with that so keep your keep your software on that does noise reduction if you have it in your camera it really really does help with macro um, it's one of the best tools you can have so we are pretty much at the focal distance that we are allowed to have with these extension tubes and I have both of them on there and I'm getting very very close to the center of this flower and it works out pretty well so that is what extension tubes do for you is they allow you to just increase your focal distance so that you can get in closer to your subject and you can focus closer to your subject now the one thing I wanted to talk about is um, focusing rails depending upon your camera and how you have it set the lens that you choose to use I could use these extension tubes on any of my lenses my 12 to 40 um, my 45 to 150 or my 40 to 150 um, let me turn you guys back around hold on just a sec all right we're back sorry about that so basically what I was saying is, is I can take these extension tubes and I can use them on any of my lenses my 12 to 40 my 40 to 150 my 75 to 300 I currently have it on my 60 millimeter so you don't have to stick with just a macro lens whenever you use your extension tubes you can use them on any of your lenses and it will increase your focal distance not your focal length so it actually works out very very well so uh, for instance, if I go out and I don't have my 60 millimeter macro with me, you know, like that'll ever happen, I carry the kitchen sink when I go, then I can actually take these and use it on my 12 to 40 and gain some more focal distance. And then that gets me in even closer. So if you don't have a macro lens and you don't need to purchase one for macro photography, remember what I said before, you can use any of your lenses to do macro. I showed that in my video yesterday with my 12 to 40 in the Crocus. You can actually pop those bad boys on there and get some really good distance to be able to focus between your the end of your lens and your subject. Now, whenever you're using um, your extension tubes, again, you may have to manually focus. Some of your lenses won't focus at certain distances. If you're using a large telephoto lens, that is normal. That is inherent of... Um, extension tubes and we used to have that issue in the film days as well with um, some of our uh, manually or our autofocus lenses when autofocus lenses came out um, and the extension tubes were used the focal uh, the focusing ability with those lenses weren't that great things have improved but I still have issues with some of my Canon lenses or I did before I got this um, and I do have issues with the um, focus distance and the extension tubes with the 60 that happened earlier and I had to manually focus so you have to take those things into consideration when you do macro photography get yourself a cable release whether it is a remote that doesn't have a cable like I'm using with this little camera or it is an actual cable release uh, you do not want any camera shake you do not want anything turn off your image stabilization in your camera and on your lenses reason being is because any minute camera shake with the wind blowing you breathing um, everything if it hits that camera then you're going to have blurred images and one thing I would recommend is when you're doing macro photography use live view if you have it because it will save you with focusing if you have the ability to focus peaking Focus peaking is when you're manually focusing, you have a color that you set, whether it's red, green, white, whatever color you're allowed. So when that it, part of your image that you're focusing on is in focus, that color will pop up and you know it's in focus. Use that. That is, I, I did not have that on my Canons and I love it on my Olympus. It has worked so well and I use it for landscape photography. The three bridges picture that I took with my 40 to 150, I manually focused that and I used focus peaking and it worked really, really well. Whenever you're using your manual focus, you also want to take into consideration um, that your f-stops. So if you are like me and you like a shallow depth of field with your mocus, with your mocus, 
what the hell? Oi, vey. Anyway, with your focusing, then you need to take that into consideration when you're actually focusing your image. So if you want to focus on the center of a flower and you're doing a 2.8, remember, there's only going to be a small portion of that image that's going to be in focus and everything will fall off soft. So get some extension tubes, pop them on one of your lenses and just play around and see what you like. Um, they are a lot of fun and like I said, you can use them on any lens. You can use your extension tubes on a lens baby, which I showed you in another video. Um, so there's, you know, there's, there's a few things that go along with macro photography that you'll learn as you go and you'll learn to find your own style with macro photography. Everyone does what things you like, what things you don't like, what things you want to focus on. Look for, um, those things that you really like and just continue those things and you'll get some cracking images. Oh, cracking? Oh, I got that word from my friends in the UK. Oh, that reminds me. Shout out to my friends in the UK, Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. Um, great bunch of people, and they have some beautiful images in some of the most gorgeous locations. If you are from the UK or you are over there, please check out their Facebook page. If you're not in the UK, check out Landscape Photography on YouTube. It is the same group of people, but it's just the rest of us around the world who can share our things on there. But these guys have great tips. They have great ideas. They, they're they a great bunch of people. So check them out. You might learn some stuff on there because I know I have so far. So that is basically extension tubes in the bag. And that's how they work. They just allow you to focus a little closer. If you guys have any questions or you have any comments or anything, please let me know. If you like this video, Please click the like button, subscribe. When you subscribe, click the little bell icon next to it so you can get more uh, notifications on some future videos that I do. And we'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.